Welcome to this week's EMBN show. I'm joined by Blake Sampson from GMBN. Hey, how are you doing? You all right? I'm very good. Thank you very much. Good to be on the show. As always, we've got loads of cool stuff coming up this week. Yes, and one of the biggest cycling shows happening mm. next week is going to kick off. It's going to be electrifying. So as Blake mentioned, the biggest show in mountain biking is kicking off next week. It's in Friedrichshafen in Germany, and it is the biggest show ever, isn't it? It's massive. Mm -hmm. I've been a few times back in the past. It's humongous. What were you doing there? Dirt jumping? I was doing dirt jumping, mm -hmm. then I was, you know, obviously with, as an athlete, you go there to sign up deals, because yeah. it's a good time to go and look for deals mm -hmm. if you're an athlete. Little so I went there, but you walk around mm -hmm. that place, not going to lie, there's like a hundred halls. It's massive, isn't it? Just dedicated to bikes. Yeah, Everything is biking huge. is there, from like kids' bikes, to granny bikes, mm -hmm. to granddad bikes, to electric bikes, to bikes, to road bikes, to it's bikes. Loads of bikes. Bikes. <laughs> I think uh, last year I went, was it's quite a while ago now, but it was really cool then. It took me literally days to walk around. <laughs> Again, I was doing the dirt jumping displays there, which was pretty epic. But I want to talk about last year. And Ooh, Do you yes. remember the showstopper last year? Yes, was it the high bike? Mm -hmm, the the fly high bike on. fly on. Yeah, that, that was thing. the talking point of the whole show. Mm -hmm. it, had, it was displayed in a glass case. It literally had the whole show surrounding it it was literally a showstopper mm. and you know i'm hoping to see that sort of thing again well, from think, one of the big manufacturers i think there's going to be a few out mm. there i'm hoping there is and what about halls we had a whole hall dedicated just to e-bikes last year you think we're going to see that again i think we're going to see two of them two halls well, i think so it's, just, it's massive, isn't it? E-bikes it kicking huge, off at the moment. Huge in Europe. So hopefully we're going to see a repeat of that. We're going to see some new, excellent stuff coming mm -hmm. out of the show. And two hauls this year. Oof, hopefully. All right, enough about last mm -hmm. year. It's all about this year. It's all yeah. about that new stuff coming out. And yeah. this is the show to be for, <laughs> at, to go and see this stuff. Now, what are you looking forward to? Uh, Sash is something, Ooh. you know, big automotive industry player. Yeah, yeah. It's working on an e-bike motor. It's in a few bikes this year. So mm -hmm. it's going to be exciting times at the yeah. moment, for sure. But keeping on the automotive, Mm -hmm. side i've heard that two companies are bringing out some new motors yamaha are bringing mm -hmm. out this new motor yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what they come out with that should be on the new high bikes hopefully oh so that's nice so you'll be using bike. one of them yeah when I you can get your that. hands on one of those mm -hmm. ah. yamaha and uh husaberg husqvarna husqvarna always get mixed up similar they are kind of similar mm -hmm. still you know they, they're bringing out some nice they, bikes this year yeah new range coming out so loads of new motors loads of new designs loads so they might be a showstopper they mm -hmm. might look like the high bike fly on maybe hopefully Okay, we've, we've seen this before in the Specialized, the Creo and this road bike thing. So this road bike is super lightweight motor. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think that would be transferable into mountain biking? We don't know. I don't know. I think Specialized is working on it, yeah. You know, yeah. I think it's inevitable, right? You've mm -hmm. developed it on the road bike, yeah. potentially you're going to chuck it into the mountain bike. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger battery, work, a bigger battery, power. make it lightweight. Mm -hmm. It look like a normal bike. Super exciting. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen that Creo? It looks amazing. <laughs> it looks so, so and cool. Specialized spent a lot of time yeah. developing that bike, about three years in the making of that motor. So yeah. should be seeing something coming from those guys on the mountain bike side of it. But I want to talk about like lower budget stuff. Oh, yes. Do you think we're going to see We've been talking about premium. Let's cheaper e bikes coming to the market. That's what I, I want to see. So. You know, I think you've got companies like Bafang as well coming from the Far East. They're going to bring some pretty exciting stuff to the table, I'm sure. And that's sure. a bolt-on motor. Yeah, bolt-on motors, but they're doing a lot of uh, motors that are available, you know, in bikes as well. So the, the technology those guys can bring to the, you know, cheaper end of the market. I've seen one of their motors, I think it's 120 Newton meter torque. Really? Yeah, it's pretty big. So you should be seeing that on a few mm -hmm. bikes. Whatever happens, I think it's going to be pretty hard to recreate the hype from last, last year's show. Year. You know, that high bike fly on was literally the showstopper. But I'm sure, as you say, we're going to see some super exciting stuff coming out the halls of Eurobike. Stay tuned for it all coming up in the next few videos. Okay, so the Masters World Downhill Championship kicked off last week out in Mount St. Anne, and there's some pretty interesting stuff going on, right? Very interesting mm -hmm. stuff. We've got Guido Chug, he's a Husqvarna rider. Mm -hmm. He's an e-bike rider, yeah. but he removed his battery and he wanted to enter this race, he entered it, and he qualified quite high mm -hmm. up in the ranks, but when it came to the race, he kind of blew up his rear wheel. Yeah, exploded. It's pretty cool how that bike handled it, you know, mm. with all that weight. He was saying how fast it was on course. Mm. But what I really want to know is obviously the UCI has some pretty strict rulings on this race. Yeah, yeah. You know, with that extra weight, the motor and things like that going on, it's a bit yeah. in a grey area at the yeah, moment. Yeah, it's a bit grey area. Pretty cool to see an e-bike without a battery competing in a normal mountain bike world championship event and doing really well. Yeah. 
but obviously kicking off out in Mount St. Anne as well as the World E-Bike Championships coming up this mm -hmm. weekend as well. And there's big hitters out there. We've oh, got yeah. Remy Absalon, Christoph Sauser. We've got some crossovers. Yeah, Marco Fontana, mm -hmm. got Windmasters. Um, Look, Bruni's dad. Yeah, Look, Bruni's dad is out there as Not well. himself, but his dad's there. Yeah, hunting for that World yeah. Championships jersey. Obviously got the women's out we've there. We've got the women's. We've got Annika Beerton, a Canadian all-rounder. She's mm -hmm. a cyclocross specialist. And we've got Nadine Sapin mm -hmm. from France. So She's it's looking like an exciting event. Mm -hmm. Loads of crossover fun. guys. We've got Charlie Mullins, is an ex-motocross racer as well. So we're seeing some pretty different characters coming in. It's going to be a super exciting race. Mm -hmm. Definitely be checking that one out for sure. We're unindated with videos this oh, week. We've got yes, this one yeah. in from Marcus. Check this out on his Trek Powerfly. He's oh, climbing as well. Man, he's crawling up God, that he's crawling up that rock slab. Oh, oh, it'd be good to see. Oh, uh, not quite making it to the top. God, you cannot, mm, that's a pretty good climb, though. Whoa, check this one out from Anders as well. It you looks know, like he's going pretty down. Tech. Yeah, this is down as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a climb. We just like to see a bit of e bike action. Oh, okay. Could be crashes, you name it. Okay. But this, he's an ex, he's a 48 year old ex elite trials bike rider. Oh, wow. Playing on, look how steep he's that from is. Sweet, he's in Sweden. There's yeah. some nice rock rolls there. Look, look at that, that's beast. Cool. Oh, what the hell? Look at that. That's yeah. that's really mm -hmm. cool. It's David, he's out in Varazidin. Yeah, Var Brought my first e bike uh, due to your suggestion. Just done his first 200k climb, uh, 200k ride on it. No way, wow. Okay. All in eco, I guess, to get all that of going. Course, yeah. <laughs> Look at this in as well. James on James. his Pedigo Elevate full suspension, E8000 steps motor on there. What? Look climbing at that. up to 4,418 foot climbing. Uh, done that. Is a Small climb. battery as well. Check that out. That's an epic, epic climb, epic, isn't it? Wow. And this last one. Oh, uh, steps. Up. Yeah. Levo. What's his name? Kim. Kim. On a specialised Levo comp. Stairway to beach Australia. heaven. Australia. What? How many steps is there? Would you fancy that on a normal bike? No. Nah. <laughs> Look at this e bikes freezing up there. Wow. Oh, let's check it out. Bombing up there. We'd love to see all your videos here on EMBN. Don't forget, you could be on next week's show. Just use the upload service. Details are on screen now. Dude, this is ghetto tech, man. Actually, that's like California ghetto. Probably ghetto tech. Ghetto, this is ghetto tech. Check this one out though from Andreas. What do you think about this? It's frame bag. It's like a No, I like bag. that. I'm I'm a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. Because on Mr. Ashton's bike, that big tandem is an yeah. e-bike, dual yeah. battery. Uh -huh. There's a big camo bag in there that's homemade by Catherine in the office. Really? I loved it. That's well cool. No, I it? like that. That's super clean. But this inside carry a multi-tool, a hanger, two big CO2 cartridges, inner tube, and a rag as well. Holy moly, he's going for an epic ride. Strap his pumps to the down tube. And look Whoa, at that, more look nice that. slim That's line. And that is on a Canyon Spectral mm -hmm. on. From Andreas. That is a nice. bad orb looks cool, doesn't it? Bad orb. Whoa, whoa. Seen this? The Stuff's coming up from Eurobike already. Yeah, is that new Trek's new bike? Sneak preview of the new Trek e bike. Now, that, do you know what? To get stuff going, if you want an e bike, mm -hmm. bolt something to it and it'll get bolt you something. On. Yeah. That is a big bolt on. So, this is from Renaud on his Trek. It's a Trek 800, so it's, it's like, like a 90s hardtail. It's like double D's for a bike. <laughs> he's out in an Elethian. He says um, he's brought a front hub motor and a bolt on battery. Stuck them in an old school Trek 800. Um, it's not for going off road, he says, just tame fire just, roads. A yeah. couple of wires pulled and it becomes an unrestricted flying machine. <laughs> not for the public roads, apparently. No, but... apparently not. You probably need a number plate and stuff like that because that, that thing would be classed as a moped. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Seeing yeah. these old bikes getting recycled, turning into e bikes. Do you know what the front wheel wheel spins on that thing? Imagine the. Imagine. What do you call it? Oversteer, understeer. Understeer on that thing. <laughs> but I can imagine on the road, well, on private roads. Gonna be cool. That would be fire cool. roads, but yeah, good Fuck. way of recycling those old bikes and getting cheap e-bikes. I like ghetto. Tech. Love it. In the comments this week, it's all about that epic ride that Steve did. Yes, Steve, but he was supposed to have someone to go on that. A teammate. It was you. Me. It was. But you fell ill. Yeah. On site, and you had the shakes. I would feel bad for you. It was. It bad. looked epic. Literally, as soon as you got there, I don't know whether it's like a virus from the train or the plane yeah. on the way out. Just literally led in bed, started shaking uncontrollably, sweating for like two days. Missed the start of the race, but it wasn't all bad. I got to play in the bike park. Oh, for a couple of days. It's a happy ending so, anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Never happy ending. But um, kicking it off, we've got Tim Lovers. That ride and race is what e-bikes is all about. I can't imagine doing that ride on a regular mountain bike. Great job and props to you and the yeah. team, Steve. Yeah, props. 
It was an epic made. ride. It looked good. Mm. I've yet to watch it. I've, used, it I've really watched it a little bit over in Dottie's shoulder. Next one coming in from Max is, can you hire batteries for the race? Mm -hmm. The race looks awesome, mm -hmm. but 1,800 pounds in batteries will make it a bit expensive. Yeah, so for the race, you actually have to have four or 500 watt hour batteries. So 2000 watt hours was your limit of how much power you could have for the day. So obviously four e-bike batteries is gonna be you know, quite an expense, but the race at the minute is invite only. There is talks about opening it up for amateurs next year. So maybe, you know, start saving now and it could be you mm. for next week. Where in the world are we going, Mr. Smith? We are heading up that to looks the like Pennines. Looks like what? Green? Greenland. Green, why? Green because it's is Greenland's land. <laughs> it's up uh, near the Peak District. So oh. Do you know where that is? It's not near not China. Not in China. No. No, oh, here we go. Not China. Here we go. Yeah, and this is one from Chris, and he's once again going out on his big epic rides. He's on a specialized Kniva. Oh, that, so. is a that is on our continent, mm -hmm. our little land. Yeah, exactly. And this has really inspired me to get this up This has there. inspired me to go Google of it. <gasps> Look at it. It looks amazing. It looks like Iceland. I know. It says, uh, the e-bike's given me the confidence to explore a totally new part of the world with a really big climb involved. Whoa, uh, look at that. place he's been keen to get to. Now that looks amazing, doesn't it? looks it? like he's riding a lap here. I know, it does that, doesn't it? But it's the Troy Lee Knievo. Oh. He's done some epic rides. He's quite a regular contributor to the show. Is but he? look at this place. It looks absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness me. He's got to be he's taking his, a drone. He's got, his, he's got his private beach. He's got his own private drone as well, I reckon, by these shots. Just yeah, look at that. Look at that. Epic. That is epic. If you love the channel and you want to give us some support, then head over to our shop because we've got so much merchandise in there that you guys can get involved and wear and help us fuel all our adventures so you guys can get watching on all our videos. Yeah, and good news, the Word Logo t-shirt has got a massive 15% off to the end of August. So get your orders in ASAP in the EMBN shop and the details of that are on screen now. It's time to get serious. It's Alrighty. the bike vault. You ready? I'm 100% ready with this. Right, so kicking it off, we've got Kev with a specialized Levo. He's out in the Glen, how do you say that one? He's in the Isle of Skye. He's in the Isle of Skye. He's out with Buddy Richard, recreating rides that he lasted wow. in 1998. Are you, do you have rules in the bike vault, having human beings in I there? I like seeing human beings in there. It gives a bit more story to it, I think. It's pretty good. Nice. Nice? Yeah. You're a harsh man. Well. We've got this one off. What about this one then? Christopher on his giant dirty plus two. Dude. He's out in Treffield Quarry. I was there actually two that, weeks ago. It looks really epic. You that, been Treffield Quarry? No, but it looks epic mm -hmm. in it. That is super nice. Super nice? I, I think it's. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Nice. So this one's in from Johan. Yeah. KTM. He's out in Walls and That looks nice, that. Hey. So they've. Uh, He's rented. on the asphalt, though. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, I'm not too sure about the arm code. Should be up like up in the mountains there, you know? Yeah. What do you nice. Think? Just a nice. Yeah, nice. It's a very nice bike though. Whoa. Oh, two bikes. Mm -hmm. Mid Mid Meridia. E160s from Andy uh, in, out in Lady Barrel Reservoir. God, that's nice. Two bikes? You have rules? Two yeah, bikes? We don't mind. Bike yeah, we're not as strict as you guys. Right. It's all love on here in the end. Uh, out with his wife, just stopped for an ice cream on a 24 mile loop. Oh, um, that's super nice. 4,000 feet of climbing. Gotta be super nice, oh. right? Nice, super nice. Oh, <laughs> this one in from um, Malcolm on his high bike all mountain six. That looks brand spanking new because you know when the fox come out, they have that little red thing oh, yeah, on his pool thing. That is brand new bike. First ride, yeah, it says first ride on his high bike, which was much better than anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> super nice. Don't you think? Lovely, it's got yeah. it's amazing. Um, this one in from Armin <laughs> on his mama's all terrain. That's nice. I can't really see it, it's a bit silhouetted. I like it. Love the view. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Just nice? Yeah. Okay, moving on. This is in from Ooh. David on his Scott E. Genius 920. He's in West Sussex mm. in the UK. Angermering Park Woods. Finding mud in August as the sun dapples through the trees. Oh, look at Muddy that. trails. Nice. Nice? Yeah, nice. Whoa. Two bikes in the bike vault again? Yeah. yeah. Come on. All right. This is a Sandre out. Uh, he's got a Rocky Mountain uh, Instinct. It is a Rocky bike. Mountain. It is a Rocky Mountain. High up in the Rocky Mountains yeah. in Nordsetter and Nefergel. I wouldn't so say that's Norway. the Rocky Mountains. What are you thinking? That's nice. Nice? That's nice, yeah. 
And this one in from John, uh, YT decoy out in Hawaii. Ooh, that's the new YT, isn't it? Looks good, doesn't <gasps> it? E bikes out in Hawaii. Oh, that's got to be a <laughs> super nice. Cause it's getting real tough. <laughs> I think we're running out. And this last one in what from Camille. What the hell is that? You like this one, yeah? She's like a street custom cruiser from Camille. Uh, he's that looks Warsaw nice, doesn't it? When you put a 180 mil downhill fork on a board tracker frame, four inch tire, 900 watt hour battery, a little bit over the top. No, um, nothing's over the top. <laughs> so this is a hub geared bike as well by Bafang. That's nice. There's a daily commute on of it, on it, 12 and a half Ks. That's nice. Way. Do you know what, that would look nice with like a... One, Cafe racer. 150 motor in it. Would look good, Or a it? 250 motor. There you go, what are you That's thinking? nice. Just nice? That's nice. That's it for this week's Bike Vault. Really hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to get featured on next week's Bike Vault, be sure to be sending all your bikes in to the upload service. It could be you on next week's show. Yeah, that's the end of this week's EMBN show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for having me, Chris. Mm -hmm. No worries, Blake. Be good to have you on the show as always. Ah. But if you want to stick around, we've got loads of cool videos. What we got? Oh, Steve's epic ride mm -hmm. just here. The one that you sadly missed out on, but it's pretty epic. Go and check it out. He used four batteries around that. Pretty good. And obviously the e-bike festival as well, out in Verbia. Check that one out, which goes on in the festivals. Really cool videos mm -hmm. by Steve. Checking out the whole thing. Really cool. Yep. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Drop some comments in the box below. Don't forget to click the globe in the middle to subscribe to EMBN, and we'll see you next week. See ya.